Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the notations of ER diagram. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the ER model. So what is an ER model and what are the components of ER model? So ER model is a design phase. So that means uh, design of a database. So in order to design that one, so we have to use some graphical representation, diagrammatic representation of a database. So using this graphical representation or a diagrammatic representation, so we have to use uh, the symbols for all the components of a ER model. So we will see what are the uh, notations to represent the components of ER model. So notations of ER diagram, ER diagram, right? So first let us uh, recall the components. The components are entity, attribute and the relationship. So entity, attribute and relationship. So these are the components and we have to draw the ER diagram based upon these components. So in that we know that it's a strong entity. So two categories, a strong entity and a weak entity. So here in the ER diagram, the strong entity is represented as a rectangle box. Rectangle box. So this represents the strong entity. This represents the strong entity. Coming to the weak entity, double rectangle box is represented as a weak entity. So this is represented as a weak entity. Okay, so if in our ER diagram, if you want to represent any weak entity, we have to draw this double rectangle. Coming to the attributes, the first one, key attribute. So this key attribute, so generally the attribute, so generally the entity is represented as this one. Attribute is represented as an OL, OL, right? And relationship is represented as a rhombus or a diamond symbol okay now key attribute is represented as vowel with underlining so underlining the key right and single attribute or a simple attribute simple attribute is a normal ellipse it is represented as a normal ellipse and multi-valued multi-valued attribute is represented as double ellipse double ellipse is represented as a multi-valued right so this is a multi-valued attribute and derived attribute so derived attribute is represented as a dotted ellipse dotted ellipse right so this is a derived attribute and a composite attribute so right right here composite attribute composite attribute is represented as so extension that means again it will be derived as different attribute so this this type we can consider it as a composite attribute right so further divided one attribute dividing further right next the relationship it is represented with a diamond or a rhombus so this is for relating the strong entity strong entity the relation for a strong entity coming to the weak entity So, double diamond is a relation for weak 
entity. Double diamond is a relation for weak entity. So these are the notation for components used in ER diagram or ER model. So these are the three components, entity, attribute and relation. So entity, strong entity and weak entity, attributes, the key, single, multi-value, derived and composite. And similarly, the relationship, so it is usually uh, represented as a diamond. And uh, a normal diamond symbol is used to give a relation between the strong entities. And if you want to give a relation between the weak entities, that will be represented as this double rhombus or double diamond. Right? So, hope you understood this notation. So, by using these notations, we have to draw the ER model or ER diagram. Right? So, in the further sessions, we will see the diagram, the complete ER diagram. Okay, so let's stop here. I hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.